Hi all, it's Gav here from dancecommunity.com and today I'm doing a slightly different video and I'm going to have to eat a little bit of humble pie because for those of you that have seen my other videos you will know that I am a big Corey Cappy fan. I have ranted and raved and gone on Facebook and shared stuff and said that Cappy should do this and Cappy should do that and Cappy should be selected for the Premier League and Cappy will win this and all these different things but I have seen a very, very different Corey Cabby in this Grand Slam of Darts. And I know that I've got to eat this humble pie because it's, <laughs> it's not where I personally thought he was. And I've got to hold my hands up and say I was wrong. Corey Cabby is not ready for the Premier League of Darts at the moment. I'm not saying he won't be next year, but... Obviously, he's not qualified for the Ali Pali. He's now got to go to Coo School. I think it's going to, even that, I think it's going to be tough now because, as we know, he's a big stage player. But this video, what I want to do is just talk about the effects of Corey Cadby. I've seen lots on Facebook, Twitter, and all over the place about people, you know, saying different things. Now, what I want to know is, is what do you guys think? How much of an effect did that game have against Gerwin Price? The one that I did the video on, the one that had all the controversy, I can't say that word very well, but you know, the controversy in it. How much did this affect Corey Cabby? It's, it's a lot more than a lot of us think. His confidence is gone. It's, he was spending and exerting so much energy, he needed to have won that match to carry it on. I think that this has really deflated him. Not only that, it's obviously he didn't win the um, the youth uh, championship, you know, the youth final to, to get his place for the Ali Pace. So he's out of that. He's clearly not going to get um, recognised for the Premier League this time. He's got no tour card. But I think so much of it stemmed from this girl in price. And how... How much is this going to affect his career over the next year, the next two years, the next three years? He needs to get some playing time on the big stage and get back to where he was. Do Corey Cabby need to play with that needle? I like the needle. I think it's good. I think darts need it. Wouldn't it be boring if all the players were... I'm not going to say any names here because I'm not like that. But there is at least seven or eight dart players. But when they're on... Oh, God. Oh, I'll be glad when that's over. Come on, come on. And if I have recorded it, I will fast forward it because they bore me to death. I like characters. And Corey Cadbury, like him or hate him, he's a character. Darts has got some amazing characters in it. But does Cadbury need to have this aggression? Does he need that side to him to play well? In the grandson of Darts, he's really toned it down, but he's struggled. I'm glad that he beat Durham um, in his last game to go out with a little bit of a high to take some confidence from. But this is what this video is about. So I'm eating humble pie. I got it wrong. Is he ready for the Premier League? No. Is he going to be hugely affected from it over the next year? Do you know what? I think so. I just hope that he gets through cool school and can put it right. Listen, give me your thoughts on what you guys think how big an impact this has had on Corey Cadby and what does the next 12 months bring for him? Will he qualify at Coo School? Will he fade away for the next year? Will he need to go and rethink about how he plays the game? I don't know. You guys tell me. I'll get back to you. Let's, you know, let's chat about it because that's what I like to do. I like, this is what this channel's about. Subscribe to the channel, leave your comments and we'll go from there. It's been great as always and hopefully you tune in next. What? <laughs>